Hey everybody, it's Juanita McDowell with In Motion Real Estate Institute. And I want to tell you a little bit about font colors today. I got an email message from a student asking, how do I change my font color in email message? So let's talk about font colors and changing the styles and the ways we can go about doing that. I have a brand new email message up. And this is the font color that's selected right now. But when I start typing, if let's say I want to change it to a red, then I can do a couple of things to do that. Number one, I could click the drop down arrow and I can change red. Of course, I have a selection of more colors, but let's just say red. And that means that when I start typing, it's going to be in red. Well, let's say I want to change the color of what I just started typing. A couple ways to do that. I can highlight it. And when I highlight this, it automatically brings up a floating toolbar because it has the intelligence built in to know that, you know what, you might want to change the color since you've highlighted this text. Well, you are correct. I'm going to want to change it to, let's say, a dark blue. And you know what, I also want to bold this text. So this is a quick way of doing it. I can also go ahead and change the type of font style. It automatically brings up the option for me to do that. And of course, other options and style options that are available here. So I can click out anywhere outside of the toolbar and I'm ready to go. But let's say I want to change that color again. Well, there's a couple of ways to do that. I can come up here to the main standard toolbar and I can click the drop down arrow and I can change it to purple if I want to do that. Now it's bolded. Let's say I don't want to have it bolded. Well, let's do, give you a shortcut key there. Control B takes away the bold. Alrighty. Let's say I want to italicize it. Well, I can see Control I, and there's an italicized version of it. And of course, remember, right click always allows me to change the font type if I want to change it to something else. I hope this tip helps, and hope to see you in an Outlook class with InMotion Real Estate Institute.